made it to Toverland. It's 104 hours. We're just chilling in the car. Because there's air conditioning. None of us want to go in. <laughs> you good? This is how you say it. Very bad. Toverland looks great. As long as you don't open any windows. Right. <laughs> don't go outside. Stay in your car with the air conditioning. Toverland, great uh. park experience. Like, I want to walk into the indoor area, but that means we have to go outside. I saw Troy, so does that mean I technically got the credit? And, yes. I, and, and, and I saw the wing coaster, I don't know. But I didn't even see that. I, I was probably taking a nap. Yeah, I got, I got like two credits. I didn't even get out the car. All right, we mustered up the strength to leave the car. This is an all new view. Basically, since uh, the last time I was here, the park has like doubled in size. So this is a completely new entrance. I'm really excited to see this. Check this out. Welcome to Toverland. Oh, I love this. So before you would enter through the uh, back of the park, or what's now the back of the park, used to be the front. They reoriented the whole thing. Uh, it was an indoor section and it's still there, but this is the new entrance it is much better. Woo! You excited? Yes, I really like this park. So I love it too. Toverland's a really cool place. I wish we were here when it wasn't like a million degrees out. We're in the park and welcome to Port Laguna. You can see Phoenix there off in the distance. I actually got to see this roller coaster test when I was here last time. Uh, I missed the big opening by about two weeks, but look at this. Very Islands of Adventure inspired. This is cool. I think we're headed over to Booster Bike because Troy is currently cycling empty trains. Look at here though, they have a log flume. And it looks like they actually added some really cool theming to it. This is an indoor outdoor flume. Last time I saw it, it looked pretty bare bones, so they've done some really cool upgrades. Actually, I think that's new for this year, come to think of it. There's literally some kids swimming in this. What? Here it comes. All right, this spot in the corner where August is standing with all the little children is where you just get nailed. My socks are so wet. Oh my gosh. That felt amazing. Yeah, I, I got hit too. Bro, uh, see, I'm not that I'm not that desperate. <laughs> Matt, come here. Matt! Matt, come back! Matt, come back here. Matt, don't you are gonna fall in. First roller coaster is gonna be booster bike, which looks to be operating on one train, but that's okay because no one's here because uh, they're not crazy enough to be here in 105 degree weather. You know, it's a short ride, but it's cool. And you know, this was like one of the earlier versions of it. And you know, you think about rides like Tron and what they're doing uh, over at Disney, like. That, this was almost like the prototype for that, and so, you know, uh, I, I think it gives us uh, hope of like what they could be doing with that concept in the future. Welcome to this indoor section, something that uh, I think we really, 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 really appreciate on a day like today. Bro won't ride water rides, but whole freaking... It's a cr No, it's not. So here you go, here's what I was talking about earlier. Expedition Zork, that's the name of the log flume, updated for 2022. Uh, mainly the exterior, which was pretty bare bones last time, so I'm excited to see how this rides. Such a good idea. I'm actually not upset that we're doing a water ride and not that I'm up front. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look, it's Baby Yoda. Or just, nope, that's just regular Yoda. Oh, here we go. Oh! This part is so weird. It's like the turntable on the lift hill. So they're like sideways, like rotating. Is that so weird? Yeah, it's 
There we go, whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that felt so good. That feels amazing. <laughs> look, it's this guy. Hey! Hey, who's throwing water? It's me! Whoa, look at this. Hey. Quit throwing water. I'm trying to fill. What the babies? I didn't even need the bag. Like, I don't know why we don't do water lines more often. Um, yeah. That was Taylor bad. was like holding the bag the whole time. Like, no, you, uh, 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 uh. Like, look at the bag. Yeah, look, yeah, look at the front row from Taylor holding it. Like, that was not me. Yeah, I'm soaked. We're back outside and it feels amazing out because we're soaking. It doesn't even feel like it's 105 degrees out. This is great. Let's go to Troy. I'm not sure if this is normal. I'm gonna guess probably not. But uh, yeah, we're almost getting a Zen ride. You know where you put your baggage? In Bakken. At the exit for Troy, you can buy a piece of track for 100 euros. Look at that, what? That's crazy. All right, so three rides on Troy done. Going around again for the front row. Um, it's a lot rougher than I remember. Yeah, I, I think honestly, since it's so hot, I have never ridden this when it's running so fast, especially towards the end. Those last turns used to be like, all right, we're going kind of fast, but now, now it's like, oh my God, airtime will turn, airtime will turn. It's, it's cooking. Crazy. It's crazy. So I, yeah, maybe it has something to do with that. Also, I, I do think that it, it probably, regardless, is time that they do some oh, retracking yeah. work on it. If they retrack on this, it's gonna be amazing. Yes, no, I definitely agree, because like the layout is strong. I have no yeah. quarrels with the layout, but the thing does not ride smooth. And like, you know, we've ridden so many GCIs now, we know how they can ride, so to me, it's sad knowing the potential that it has. Hey! hey. You don't get wet on this ride, it's okay. Maybe everyone else thought it was too rough too, because now we are literally the only ones in the queue. Yeah, no, this is typical to overland, to be honest. Jeez, but, yeah. that's so weird. What did you think of Troy? I thought it was a rough piece of poopy. Wow. No, it wasn't. Look, the thing is, the la the layout was good. Uh, there were a lot of great little airtime moments and everything like that. Like, objectively, it should be really good, but it. I don't know if I'm just getting old, but like, real, like roughness on roller coasters is really starting to get to me. Toverland coming in clutch with food. Of course, we're eating inside, and you got a burger. Look at these fries with all these toppings, and that's carbonara, I think. Correct. Ooh. So you can get gelato here, and one scoop is only one euro fifty cents. Look at that. So we're going for it. This is really good. What kind did you get? Minor hazel new. <laughs> Thanks for that. And you got strawberry. Let's bond. It's not a roller coaster, but this thing is super fun. We just did one the other day over at Schwaben Park and had a great time. It's also one of the more popular rides here in the park. It can get a bit of a line, but I can't imagine that'll be the case today. Are we literally in someone's house? They have a toilet in the freaking queue? Is it powered box? I can think about this. powered box. I'm Augie. That wasn't fun. That was not fun. It's not a coaster. I know it's technically not a coaster, but I don't think it feels less like a coaster than an Alpine coaster. We're purposefully splitting up the stuff that we do inside so that we do some outdoor things and then when we inevitably get too hot, then we come right back inside. They're doing like a tiny little fountain show right here. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Like a smaller version of the one that we watched yesterday at Efteling. How much money for me to push her in? I'm actually kind of good size for this.
We're going through a little elf house or something. I don't know. It's like these giant rooted trees. It's really cool. Like the theming of this park is actually like totally awesome. Next up is Dwarvelwind. This is a mock rides spinning coaster. Not to be confused with an extreme spinning coaster. No, I ride wish. A this came first. Whoa. Whee! Like rotating which side we go up the lift on, like halfway okay. through. There's also onboard audio. They're like playing music here. I very much. I imagine it's probably a custom soundtrack. Whoa. Good time. There she is, Phoenix. This whole area opened two weeks after I visited in 2018. So getting to finally see it here in person is pretty cool. And it does look very nice. You can also see the uh, Merlin boat ride over there with the uh, no one on it, and we actually just saw a Phoenix go by, and I don't think there was anyone on it either. I kind of want to rate it. Yeah, hey, we, we should definitely do both. Being here, I'm like, man, I can't believe that this park like didn't have this originally. Like, this it would have been tiny. Yeah, yeah, well, that's this park has like grown a ton in the past several years, and like supposedly they're adding a new like on site hotel soon. I mean, the rate that this park is expanding is really awesome to it see. It kind of deserves it. Based off of the minimal time I've had here, it's like really cute. Yes, it is definitely a cute park. You good, bro? I love all of Toverland's weird, quirky walkways. It's, so it's like, fun. how many different ways can you get from point A to point B? Alright, a couple laps there on Phoenix Not for our confused. first time. No Phoenix. That's a Vacoma. That one's a lot better. Uh, no, well, it's just two different, very different styles of ride. This experience was very intense. It's not a very long ride, but it is definitely cool. I definitely, definitely, definitely grayed out on the Helix. I don't know about you, but. Oh, yeah, every single time. Yeah. I like the little airtime hill too. It, it's a simple ride. I'm not like a huge dive coaster yeah. person, but it's it's fun. Yeah, well this is a wing coaster, but I mean wing coaster. <laughs> it's okay, it's hot. It's the I'm summer sorry. heat. Uh, you know what I'll give it credit for? The airtime hill actually gives airtime. It does! Gatekeeper! Can't do that. Tell me this doesn't look like Bag End from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Like, I feel like that's what this land is. It's, how can we do Lord of the Rings without actually doing Lord of the Rings? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. Like, this is really, really cool. Even all the rock work on this. Like, it's just very much from that era and style of uh, television and movies. So, I approve. Next up is Merlin's Quest, the slow moving boat ride through the area surrounding Phoenix. Off we go on the slow moving adventure through the woods of, I don't even know what this area is called. Girl, if we get wet on this, uh, this is where we Avalon. Avalon, that's right, I knew that. I was just testing you. You get some great views of Phoenix right here. It looks like up ahead we're going through a tunnel. Let's see what's inside. Whoa! Ooh. It smells really good in here. Wow. <laughs> What? Oh. Wow. Whoa. Oh, oh. Well, 
Well, this is awesome. That's a pretty cool boat ride. I very much like it. Very peaceful, very calming. Hey, stop flicking me with water. You got wet. Keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times. That was uh, I'm very so sorry. good. You're ruining my serenity. Cry about it. One more ride for the day on Phoenix. Well, I say one more. It'll probably realistically end up being two because there's no one here, so why not? One more time walking through the entrance. Correct. I swear this is like the only air conditioned queue in all of Europe. We've only done left side so far, so let's go to the right. So we say goodbye to Toverland, and it feels a lot nicer out. How was your visit, Matt? We made it! You did? Yeah, it was, uh, it was actually good. I love this part. It's a good part. Yeah, I, I wish that it, we got to experience it when we weren't like dying half the time. <laughs> but like, it, this was like a really fun time. Like, I think this place is so cool. It is, yeah. It was a completely dead day. We got a lot of things multiple times. I'd say it was a good day. A little hot. <laughs> can't handle. And I'm assuming you guys had a good time too? Oh, yeah. Oh. Just hey, what they give you on your way out? A compact disc with music from Toverland. Bye, Troy. Hopefully, next time I ride you, you will have gone through a very thorough retracking. You definitely could be a lot better than you were today. But hey, I appreciate how much speed you had. That's for sure. This thing was flying. Why are you leaving us? I don't know. It's so sad. This is it. It is it. Until We're, until next time. Until future possible thing. Bro, that. it's just Florida. It's no big deal. <laughs> All right. I might be going to Florida. Hey. Don't tell my parents because they won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. This was awesome. Oh yeah. And for you guys. Hey, no, we are so glad you came. This was a blast. Love you.